it's your girl Tati and I'm back at it again with another video for you. Today I'll be doing, as you can see by the title, a no makeup makeup look. Um, so this is a look that I recently perfected for myself. I can't say it's good for everyone, but for me personally, I really like how um, it you know comes together and what it does like it's really quick it's really simple you only need like a couple of things which i'm really glad about because when i'm on the go on in a rush and i want to look you know cute i could go out cute like this because like but i want to be like you know up i, I just want to dress up a little bit but not too much and i want to do a little makeup look this is the look my go-to look as of right now um, so what you need for this look, it's very simple, your favorite mascara, my mascara, if you guys did my, watched my, um, my makeup tour, like my makeup collection video that I did, uh, you know that this is the mascara that I'm using currently, it's the Love and Beauty by Forever 21, volumizing and defining mascara. Um, so yeah, if you didn't go check out check out that video and see all the stuff I have. Anyways, moving on. So this is your favorite mascara. Uh, you can get your favorite lip gloss, like clear lip gloss, whatever you want. I'm just gonna use Carmex because I'm trying to protect these lips in the winter. And your smallest uh, beauty blender, beauty sponge um your favorite or the perfect bronzer shade for you a, a pow face powder not a brightening powder not i have a brightening powder this is not the powder i use i use this fancy um beauty caramel cutie bronzer because it's not the right bronzer shade for me it's too light so i just use it as a regular face powder and this is the powder that i use for this look it's not the powder i use my everyday makeup look that does the brightening under eyes you will see why uh your concealer your your under eye concealer your brightening concealer that you use in your makeup um it's really good that it'd be a good shade not too bright from your face i don't use a concealer that's very um far off from uh, my face it just gives me that brightening look that i want so that's the concealer this is in the shade 430 you're a black lip liner because well you don't need the black lip liner you just wear clear lip gloss i use the black um pencil liner for my lip and your eyebrow uh brow pencil you don't need the pencil you just need the brush this little spoolie at the end okay so that's all you need for the look very simple very easy very minimal um makeup involved but you still look together so yeah let's get into the video so well, i showered and washed my face i put on one of my um lotions for my face i'm just gonna put on another one Just to get my face really moisturized. Yep. And now I'm ready to begin. So let me just tilt my. Okay. Let me move you guys a little closer to my face. Ooh, there we go. So the first thing I do for this look is the concealer. So what I do is i would i put the concealer where i would normally put my concealer at my everyday concealer when i'm doing my makeup which is under my eyes a little seat above my forehead and right on my chin below my neck that's it and just add whatever's left to the brush And then I take then I take a damp, really small 
damp beauty sponge and just go in, blending it in. And the reason why I don't use the brightening powder that I would use when doing my regular makeup to get that really bright look is because you're not... Okay, I caught it. It's a good thing I cleaned my bathroom today. My floors are clean because, ooh, hate to go find another sponge. So anyways, yeah. The reason why I don't put a brightening powder like I would when doing my regular makeup is because you're not wearing any foundation. So your face is just your skin. Your, for me, my skin is already dark. So I don't want to have like a too bright T-zone area where it just doesn't work or blend well with my skin. It just, I have a ghostly center of my face and the rest of my face is, you know, brown. And I just work it like a little bit around my lip, going into my chin area. And you have to really take your time to just blend all of the concealer out. What you would do normally doing your makeup. Okay. This is why I love this uh, concealer anyways, because it's just so good. Once I've done that, just burn down my forehead. You see that how, you know, bright my skin is, the, the center of my face is. That's what I want, but I don't want it too bright, you know what I mean? Once I've done that, I, I don't really worry about my forehead because I'm gonna like blend it out further with. You'll see, you'll see, you see, you shall see. So, before my um, concealer starts to crease, I go in with the face powder of my choice. As I said, I'm not using, really using a face powder, I'm just using the uh, Fenty Beauty bronzer that I have in Caramel Cutie because it was too light for me. I didn't couldn't really use it and I just take my little brush my Morphe brush and swirl it in there to just set the concealer What I do next is I get my bronzer of choice, so whatever bronzer works for you, and I get my brush and just put it in around the perimeter of my face. And on where my forehead is, I just put it like around the edges of where, like, you know the concealer wasn't really blended all the way out but just to show the contrast of my face and right at the edge of where my concealer ended 
So if you're a person with like dark marks and you want the extra coverage, I think I'm gonna do one where I do like a full, like using concealer, but I thought this was just an everyday simple look, like you're going to, I don't know, you're not going to Walmart, but you're going to Target and you wanna look Target ready, you know? You can add a little blush if you want, a little highlight, whatever you feel is necessary for you. That's the face. So for you guys that have been a loyal part of my, a loyal member of my channel, you guys know that I haven't been really been doing my eyebrows lately. I've just been using a brow gel. So for this look though, I sometimes I use the brow gel, most times I use the brow gel. Sometimes I don't. What I just do is if your eyebrows are shaped up enough, well enough, and you just want that fanned out eyebrow look, bushy eyebrow look, just brush your eyebrows out like that. Because you know, we in a pantaroma, we haven't been. going to get people all up in our faces you know what I mean so and then for your eyes I just put on a little mascara I'm just looking off to the side in my mirror but yeah I just line my lips with a little black liner and you can use as I said your favorite gloss or tell what works for other people I'm not a makeup artist I'm not a big um, makeup expert um, I just know what works for me and this is what I've perfected from my skin like I like how it looks especially when I'm in the Sun it's not sunny out right now or what I, I would have went outside so you can see how that is not um, let me turn off my light maybe that'll help to see me in the natural light that my face does not look light in one area real light in one area and real dark everywhere else it's really nice because of my contour because of my bronzer yeah so 
this is the final product let me know in the comments what you think and if you guys have seen any other like really good no makeup makeup looks that you think I could like get some ideas from to really perfect this look even more because I'm all about learning all about growing and let me know in the comments any links that you think would help me out in perfecting my look even more but I feel like this really works for me and if you want to spice it up and get yourself some blush as I said if you're of fairer skin complexion blush is really your thing for those people who like really like the blush under their cheeks going all the way up like if that's your thing this look is for you I'm telling you so yeah and you throw on your favorite pair of hoops girls got some hoops you know and do your thing I really like this look I hope you like it too and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for watching the video let me know what you think from all my makeup looks like what you want me to do what you're trying to see me sis I'm telling you how can you not like this look yeah if you're a returning subscriber let me know in the comments what you think please like and comment please comment I want comments I love comments I like like um, responding to comments and stuff like that so let me know and if you are just this is your first video you're just interacting with me on YouTube your first video you've ever seen of me hi this is Tati welcome to ODU TV yeah tell me what you guys think is this something that you think would really help you in your everyday life let me know in the comments down below and as I said if you know any any helpful videos that you think I should watch put it down in the comments as well and please don't forget to subscribe turn on that post notification if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video bye I'm telling you there's always something when I'm about to go bye